In the meantime, we got to get down to field five for our next match, which starts in three, two, one. Let's do it, folks. For match 306, playing on the field red, on the field red alliance, it's going to be Team Iraq, Team Croatia, and Team Ghana. And as for the blue alliance, we're going to have Team Maldives, Team Guinea, and Team Venezuela. So this is a robot that we're going to go, try to keep an eye on, because as we've seen, they're moving around the one, two, three on the rankings. So it's going to be very interesting seeing a very high score on the match. If you were at an event like this, folks, it is almost impossible to avoid the team of Venezuela. Yes. They literally go to every single team. Yes. Their energy is palpable. You can see it in their robot referred to as Kashi. They legitimately covered it, folks, in blue automotive paint. I don't think you see that on any other robot here in competition. No, I was also talking to a volunteer friend who is currently from Venezuela. You know, I figured they were like 20, 30 Venezuelan students or team members here with us. Turns out it's not. They're just so loud, so happy, so excited. They, it just feels like they're everywhere around with that contagious energy. And with Dean earlier on today, we had talked about the Declaration of Interdependence, the Bill of Responsibilities. In a very real and tangible sense, the nation of Venezuela has done just that. They actually established it is a duty for each generation to protect and maintain the environment for the betterment and benefit of all in their national constitution. So, team, what we're looking at on the screen right now is currently, yes, Team Venezuela once again depositing those hydrogen atoms inside their hydrogen tank. I have a feeling that's kind of their strong suit, that they're able to separate the hydrogen and the oxygen, as we're seeing right now on the screen. So they're able to go either directly to the electrolyzer for their human player or directly to the hydrogen tank to score those points directly. Another nation to focus on in the Red Regional Alliance is the nation of Iraq. They come from Basra, but believe it or not, it's a manifestation of what is referred to as Science Camp. It is the first physical makerspace slash fab lab in that nation of Iraq. So we're grateful to have them joining us on board this, this year. Moving over, we're seeing currently Team Ghana for the Red Alliance trying to push, to push and locate the hydrogen tank with perfect alignment, but they had sadly some of those oxygen atoms pushing in the way. We're talking about obstruction pretty often in the game as it goes. However, it looks like Team Venezuela had no obstruction depositing more of those hydrogen balls inside the tank before trying to push it all the way into perfect alignment. As that moon rises on Kashi the robot, so too do the expectations of all of these teams, but particularly Venezuela. Hopefully we have a Telestrator ready to roll for you for these last seconds. So the match is over. We have four robots that are on the field just standing there within the reservoir boundary but not being held up. And we have one extra robot that was able to get expert proficiency points in the energy conversion process. And it's fully supported by hydrogen hub structure. This is when we talked about that pull-up that we were mentioning earlier when the robots can actually climb. They, they climb the structure. I was going to say, when you get back and look at the crowd, these kids are swelling with pride, rightfully so. Think about the amount of work that they've put into making this all possible. We've got our Telestrator ready to roll. We'll see if we can get you a couple of clips up here. Venezuela, as we said, is named Kashi for their robot as that moon rises up to deposit those green hydrogen particles. You can see each one of those being a point, but then immediately afterward taking it upon themselves in those 15 seconds to basically use themselves as a battering ram to force that hydrogen tank into their respective corner. And I also want to point out, if I could please have the telestrator here for a sec, what we're seeing on under that oxygen accumulator, let me take you guys back just a little bit more. There we go. So you might be able to take a look. It's kind of blurry from what we're seeing, but you see two oxygen atoms that are gonna be in the way from the hydrogen tank to be perfectly aligned on the oxygen accumulator. That's just one of the other, I guess, sides of the game that it gets more and more complicated as we go. So even though they have the human players trying to throw it directly over into the oxygen accumulator, if it lands right under it, it could actually Pose as an obstacle in order to get that 1.2 or 1.3 accumulator. Again, you see the nation of Venezuela swelling with pride, but they are not the only nation to do so. Triple digit figures coming to that squad along with the Maldives and Team Guinea. Well done, 107 to 30.
we're also having Team Venezuela stay on the number two ranking from what we were looking at. It looks like they're going to stay on top as the competition evolves and we're getting closer and closer to alliances and playoffs. Even though they just played in that previous game, this year to select their national team first, Global Venezuela organized the first ever FTC-like competition in their home nation, the Copa Kai 2023. Let's meet Team Venezuela. Nuestro camino comienza en la emocionante Copa Kai, donde más de 130 estudiantes se unieron impulsados por un mismo sueño, ganar la oportunidad de dejar los colores de nuestra bandera en alto. Semanas de esfuerzo y dedicación dieron como resultado la formación del Team Venezuela 2023, los cuales no solo comparten un objetivo, sino también un lazo irrompible que nos une como una gran familia. Nuestro mayor compromiso y fuente de motivación es ser parte del cambio que nace al unir la mente joven en búsqueda de un mundo lleno de oportunidades y sueños interpretables. El camino comienza. First Global Challenge 2023. Un camino donde los jóvenes de cientos de países se unen para forjar soluciones innovadoras a las problemáticas de nuestro planeta. Juntos siempre lograremos más y seremos más fuertes. 